Hello my beautiful friends, it's Huli here again from Made by the Chef and today I'm going to make you the most simplest, the most flavourful Cypria pea stew you have ever had. So let's get down to business. What's going in this dish? Well, to start with, we've got our onions, got tomatoes, you don't have to use fresh tomatoes like me, you can use canned stuff no problem at all i got a bit of chicken just chicken portions anything thighs breast leg and peas frozen good old-fashioned garden peas now listen when i was growing up i want to put some olive oil in the pan i had to shell those peas my mum made me shell those peas and I loved doing that actually. You know why? Because I got to spend time with her. So I've got the olive oil in now. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. You could just use that light olive oil stuff if you want. You can use sunflower oil, vegetable oil. You could even use a bit of butter if you wanted. Uh, so I'm going to go with olive oil because that's very typical, very traditional Cypriot. Um, we just use olive oil with everything. And I'm going to cook my onions. So what I've done, I've actually sliced the onions. I didn't even bother to chop them, to dice them. What I did, I sliced them up thinly. And that's it, that's all you need to do. And I'm gonna sweat those onions down. So you don't wanna brown them, you just wanna soften them up, make them translucent. That's what it is when you sweat. You just wanna cook them down for a few now what else I'm going to use, I'm actually going to put in a little bit of pimenton dolce paprika, okay? I like to put in a little bit of paprika powder, just for a bit of extra colour and depth of flavour. Again, you don't have to. So, whack that in as well. Now I'm going to give it a little stir. So I'm going to stir around the tomato paste, the paprika powder. It's all going in. Now I'm going to add my peas so good old-fashioned frozen garden peas I've got to put a good full packet in there what's this about a kilo so you know obviously I'm making for a family of four and uh, you scale up scale down depending on the size of your family this is such a great dish right so everything now is coated Look at that. So everything is coated inside the pan. All looking marvellous. So all that's left to do now is chuck my tomatoes in. Now we are going to put a bit of water in here as well. But just be careful. You don't want to overdo it. You won't need those. Now I'm going to put a little bit of water in there as well. And you want to put enough in there just to cover it that's all just to cover it you don't want loads now what you're going to do is you're going to let this simmer now and you're going to let it simmer from anything from half an hour to an hour depending on the amount of chicken you've got now we've seasoned it we're going to let it cook out the sauce is going to thicken the peas are going to wrinkle chicken's going to cook and it's going to be amazing so we're going to give it about half an hour to an hour and then we're gonna have a little taste. And here it is, my beautiful friends. The stew, that wonderful pea stew is ready. And I used to eat it with a bit of bread. Or how about some mash? I've got a nice bit of buttery mash here and I'm gonna put the stew all over it. Oh, it's amazing, look at that. That is beautiful. Look, oh, I've got a nice bit of chicken breast there. Look at that. Oh, that is fantastic. It's all thickened. And you know, someone might look at this dish. What's that saying? One man's gold is another man's copper, whatever it goes. Well, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, this is the food of queens and kings. It may be a peasant dish, but it is royal. Let me tell you. We can't control what goes on around us, but what we can do is control how we perceive it, how we react to it. So I know we're staying at home, stay at home with me, 
but we're going to keep smiling, going to keep cooking, and we're going to have a wicked day. Take care, my friends, and I'll see you again soon.